Tim and Behella have for us up here right now. Where do we want to go with this? Going to keep... I think I'm just going to do it's one more long jump. Now we'll jump into the speed retreat. We can get a dummy down there at the end of the dock. Not you, Larry. We need, we need a docking dummy. So All as right. he's getting her staged up here, our next thing we're going to show you... How much, co how much coffee did you drink this morning? How about... You probably put sugar in it too, didn't you? Get back there. Let's go and get back. So I'd call it about 20 to 21 feet right there. Remember, we measure from the end of the dock to where the dog's butt enters the water. Once we actually run a competition, we have a camera system that feeds the laptop. The laptop slows the video down. And we calibrate it so when we click on the dog's butt, it spits out exactly where it entered. By the way. So we just psyched Belle out, got rid of that other toy. Now she's going to switch gears here. She thought she might find it in the pool out there. Well, we're going to switch gears here. It's a little doggy drag race. It's a 58-foot mad dash. Now the dogs have to start with their front paws in a white box up on the dock. It's a two-foot white box. And just like in a drag race, we give them a yellow light, a staging light, and a green light, a go light. If they break the staging light, it's a false start. Tim can tell you all about that. He false started four times in a row this weekend, but then he nailed the fastest reaction time after that. Larry. Larry. All right, looks like we're ready to go here. So when he gives me the heads up, we'll give him a yellow light and a green light. There's the yellow at the end of the dot. There's the green light. And you see him timing it perfectly. Now, if he would have let her go a little too soon, she would have false started. But he nailed it with a .086 second reaction time. That's faster than you can blink, folks. He's one of the best in the business at it. And Bella laying down a 7.518. You saw her get a little distracted by the phantom spear and whatnot on the way down to all the kids. But that's part of the game out there. So that was speed retreat. Maybe we'll give her one more, see if he can't step up his reaction time out there, if that's even possible. Maybe he'll go for broke here. We'll show you what a false start looks like. Now in a competition here Friday, Saturday, folks, we'll have 60 dogs out here. All of them competing for our prize money. Last weekend, I think we had about 54 total on jump. <laughs> Always breaking something, Tim. So she's staged up, ready to go. Here's the yellow light. Oh, go, me! A point three eight second reaction time. But Bella stepping it up here to a six point seven eight zero. So all this electronically scored down to one one thousandth of a second out there, which is very important when we have 20, 30, 40 dogs in these competitions. We use all the electronics to score them, keep it super fair. And now we're going to switch it over and show you our third and final sport, the dog here too. Now the toy suspended exactly eight feet over the dock there. We can then raise it up or down, have a nice little hydraulic boom. Now in actual competition, we've measured this all out, but here we're just giving Bella something we can grab, she can grab. Now the difference in this sport is they can only use half of the dock. It's not a competition based on speed. It's more on the pot, getting the height. Now this sport was actually developed as a training technique for our long jump. A man by the name of Tom Dropic out of Minnesota thought of the idea of hanging a toy to get his dog to jump up. As you see Bella coming up just a little short. In a competition, we give Bella two jumps out there. It's best of two, or double elimination. So Bloomsburg, do we want to give Bella another shot here, just like a competition? There we go. And that's what else I forgot to tell you guys, that these dogs are performers. And you better believe it that Bella knows if you guys are behind her out there. So this time when Tim turns her loose, make sure you're cheering around a little bit, getting her pumped up out there. Do or die time, Bella. She's like, yeah, right. She knows she's doing demos out here. 
Oh, he's getting her wound up. <laughs> Come on, Bella. Come on, Bella. There we go. So those are basically our three different sports, folks. People ask us all the time, how do you train a dog to do this? Well, there's no one set technique. And you'll see from dog to dog, different things work differently. We can only